Another segment of yakking with you, Jagoff, and we're in PPG near the fountain, which used to be an ice rink, which is now a fountain, but will be an ice rink again. And we have finally chased down pit girl, Jenny Montanez. Jenny, thanks for being on the program. Happy to be here. Are you really? Am I twisting your arm? There you go, I like it, yes. <laughs> I wore that for you. <laughs> you know, what's really funny is, I try to get over the fact that Jagoff is not a swear word, you know, and- I mean, I think some people think it is, yeah. but it's not. Yeah. I, I, my kids know the word. <laughs> and I and they think stupid is a swear word. So. Oh, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Now I want to know. You know, we're a hard-hitting news agency here. I mean, oh, yeah. 60 Minutes has nothing on us. So we have some hard-hitting questions for you sure. because I'm not sure how many people know about you. So, but let's first get into the whole story where you were blogging secretly, then you came out, and all this kind of stuff. Just go through that for anybody that doesn't know that story. All right, I'll, I'll do it briefly since you know when you ask my husband to tell you a story and. I learned. Okay. Um, it was easy. I was working at, at a nonprofit, and you work at a nonprofit in Pittsburgh, and you learn the city, and you get mad about things. And I was getting mad about local politics, and I didn't have anybody that cared. You know, nobody get, nobody gave a crap. So I thought, you know what? I'm gonna start a blog, and it was just. It was just a crap idea on a slow day, and I was just, I'm gonna do it, and it just took off. I wasn't expecting it. I never would have, if I had known, would I have started it? Probably not. I mean, it was just, it was a lot. Uh, but I mean, that was the story, and I stayed anonymous, and it got more popular, more popular, more popular, and then things were showing up in the Post Gazette, and it was a little, yeah. And I started to realize that this could be a little bit dangerous working in a nonprofit. But uh, one day I got an email from a news anchor. And this is something people don't know. <laughs> I w there it is, cutting edge, breaking news. Um, yeah, I know how much you love breaking news. I don't even know news. if I should name names, but I feel like we're far enough removed that I can name names and these ladies won't get angry with me. So I'm just gonna do it. Okay. I got an email from... So we were just getting ready to reveal some huge news, breaking news here. And then the PPG guy came up and said, you can't film here. So I want to know, did you pay him to do that? Is that on cue? It's perfectly on cue. Ah, no, WTA, he paid for that. <laughs> they don't want anybody to know. That's no, but it. there's no hard feelings anymore. There's really not. I don't yeah. care. It worked out for the best. I wouldn't have accomplished things if, they, if my identity hadn't you know, if I hadn't gotten in front of it. So, I mean, I'm not angry with anybody, and I think they know that, and okay. It's cool, it's kind of like a conspiracy thing. Yeah, it's yeah. fine, it's yeah. fine. I'm not, there's no hard feelings at all. And we were talking as we were running from the security guard, not really, but we were running, and uh, you accomplished this blog growth, became this popular blogger mm -hmm. before smartphones were popular, before blogging probably even hit it's tipping point or whatever. How, yeah, I think I crazy. I think I, I got in on the ground floor there before it really took off and I think that's what helped. There wasn't that much noise at the time. It was easy to be heard and I think that's what I don't think I could do it today. Is that right? <laughs> like I don't think it would I don't think it would happen the same way. It all blurs in with yeah, with all yeah, the other things. Yeah, it yeah. would be totally different. Yeah, so exactly. I mean it happened the way it was supposed to. Yeah. Now, and I like the fact is, so you've taken your blog, you've said your piece, you say your piece on your blog all the time, but you also turn it into good. And let's talk about the Make Room for Kids project. I think this is our fourth year. And I think um, maybe $125,000 altogether wow. that we pulled together with Microsoft and the Lemieux Foundation. So yeah, I think um, after the first year is when I just went to the Lemieux Foundation and said, how about this be yours now. Yeah. Because it makes it so much more legitimate, you know, a blogger yeah. trying to raise right. money. Let Mario take it, right? So, yeah. Right. No, I think I think it's great and it's great what you do. So now, again, we've warned you, I hopefully, that we are a hard-hitting news agency. And so I think uh, you said earlier, that you think you've been blogging for so long, everybody kind of knows everything about you at this yeah, point. Yeah, I can't think and, of anything. Uh, so, but we've come up with some really cutting edge questions for you. So. When, uh, and we'll just rattle through them really. What is your favorite Girl Scout cookie? Those lemon things. Really? Yeah, I don't, I've I, I'm not a big chocolate fan, but I love lemons. When it comes to toast, whole wheat or white and dark or light? Rye is my favorite, so I don't know, what is that? I guess that's, rye. Yeah, yeah, I guess that's, that's a dark, neither. Yeah. You know, rye yeah. is my favorite and medium. Medium. Right down the middle. I don't want it, you know. 
All right, three more questions and then we're done because who knows who's going to chase us out of here next. All right. Probably on a, pigeons. Yeah, there you go. And they're your favorite, yeah, clearly. No, they'll come after us. Uh, on a Pittsburgh wedding cookie table, what is your favorite? What cookie would you protect and not share with anybody? That's got to be the thumbprints, man. Thumbprints. Yeah, even if my kids want one, I'll be like, that's mommy's cookie. If you had to slap the shit out of one of these two women, who would it be? Lindsay Lohan or Miley Cyrus? Miley. I have right. no reason why. I just would. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I can't justify it, but yeah, I, you're I don't forcing know me. That's probably the direction so, I'd go. If you were forced to watch either a local car dealer commercial where they sell their soul for anything and do silly things, or watch a negative political campaign ad, which would you do? Oh, obviously not the negative. I wouldn't even watch a positive campaign <laughs> ad. I will turn that off. So I would watch a million car dealership ads. Because those are in, they're they entertaining in a bad, bad way. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's sort of like, yeah. 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 Like How do we do it? Volume, volume, volume versus he's a poop head. No, he's a poop head. Right. I, oh, even if I support the candidate. So in wrapping up, we always kind of do our tagline. But you know, this one, there's a guy who's earned it today. And that would be the security guard or somebody who made the rules to say you can't film in that nice little place there. So for the, for the guy who made us move today, thanks a lot for making us move. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for making us move, you, you jag, jag off. off.